So I have the experts on technology, business, and policy with me. So I will now move to the last question. Why are these three perspectives of technology, business, and policy important for the development of electric vehicles? And why is that this development cannot happen with just one, but needs all the three parties working together? I think we already gave an answer today. We showed a couple of examples when the policy is influencing the <coughs> rollout of electric vehicles, when the policy is influencing the technological part. The technology can influence policy. The same about business. We talked about the business drivers, uh, about the different kind of models. So I think that uh, only putting these three dots together <laughs> and trying to connect them creates a successful, uh, successful concept for rollout of electric vehicles and for the energy transition. It cannot stand alone, one of them. It has to be put together, and that's why in our MOOC we are trying to connect those dots together. Yes, um, to start with, um, it's electric vehicles in fact are part of the energy transition. Uh, that makes it complex. It's not o only about the vehicle, it's about the energy chain and how we use energy or misuse energy. And uh, that in itself is already uh, something where you have to connect business, uh, so s sustainable energy to sustainable cars, uh, where uh, policy is involved uh, to, to support both sides, and the technology has to fit together. And I think we are on track on that at this moment in time. And why are we on track? Because, uh, let's start with the te te technology again. Those technology disruptions, which I think are very positive disruptions because they made them, made them make them fit for this century, they are going to happen anyhow. The technology is constantly improving. Um, and otherwise we, we wouldn't have anything to offer. But the business should be there. If we can't earn money with it, or uh, create wealth with it, it will stop in the end. And if the policy is not supporting that, or getting misperceptions, or uh, then it will also uh, not happen. So in a transition, it's always true that you have the three perceptions uh, together, and timely together, so that the synergy can develop. Which is easier said than done, but uh, you're right. Um, That's why you have the <laughs> last word. <laughs> 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 New technology cannot always conquer the market on its own merits. Um, because, you know, we are not talking about a new coffee machine here. Electric vehicles uh, will drastically change the transport and mobility system uh, on the one side, and the electricity system on the other side. And we are talking about critical infrastructures systems here. Um, critical infrastructures are systems in which technologies and institutions have co-evolved over a long time to reinforce each other. <coughs> and these systems are deeply embedded in our economy. Uh, they are deeply embedded in our daily routines. And uh, they uh, show a lot of resistance to change because of you know the many interdependencies, the interactions, between the parties, between the actors running those systems. And those actors include the government itself, uh, which has an important stake in both the transport system and in the electricity system in terms of ownership and other responsibilities. So policy interventions are needed here. Government intervention is needed not only to push the first horde of consumers toward electric vehicles, but to do a lot more. Uh, we already mentioned the need for new standards, technical standards for the vehicle and its components for the batteries, and also operational standards, such as the charging protocols. And in setting these rules and in, in, in defining standards, government intervention is needed. Now, compare with the internet. How would the internet have conquered the world without the open internet protocol? So for a massive adoption of electric vehicles, we are going to need new legislation and regulations. Um, and that is even more true if electric vehicles are really going to be vital components of the electricity system because everything hinges 
on the reliable supply of electricity, uh, the whole economy. So government has to design new institutions that define the roles and responsibilities of new actors on the mobility scene, and that includes authorities, new authorities that need to be in place to penalize a violation of those rules, uh, and that uh, need to be in place to protect consumers and safeguard public interests, public values. Um, government has a very interesting role. Eh? On the one side, it has a stake in these important infrastructure systems. Um, it, it, it is uh, um, creating change in these important infrastructure systems. Um, in, in, you know, it's, in, in, in it's, uh, it has many different policy interests, many different policy goals that need to be balanced. Um, and uh, as we will show later on in this course, um, it's uh, it's not always uh, easy. And different governments make different choices here. So we are connecting here the three dots from the policy perspective, business perspective, and of course technology perspective. There is one uh, more dot which we don't really cover, but we shouldn't really uh, forget it. And it's an adaptation of the consumers and okay. behavior of the consumers. And I would like to mention a few bizarre examples. I read some demands like electric vehicles should make some noise, <laughs> not to scare people. This is a yeah. demand yeah. which is, in my eyes, uh, not really uh, plausible. I compare it to the, uh, to the beginning of the century, of the 20th century, when before of every combustion engine vehicle, some men with the flag should go walk and uh, warn the people that there is a vehicle coming. And uh, there were complaints that the horses are getting scared and the <laughs> whole society was really unhappy with the roll out of the vehicles. They got used to that. So I think the similar thing we will get also here, that there are many things which is completely different and new and adaptation from the consumer point of view is also a very important factor for the roll out of the electric vehicle. And I think this point is also uh, something which we have to address in all three parts. It's not really mentioned in the, in the teasers, but we will try to address it in our part. I think what you point out here is that uh, new technologies come with new risks and vulnerabilities. And one of these new risks and vulnerabilities has, uh, for instance, uh, relations with cyber security uh, risks, um, uh, which uh, are already, um, um, I think, uh, quite, quite, quite urgent uh, uh, in terms of needing to be addressed, um, and will be even more so when we move to self-driving vehicles. Uh, there is. We are entering a new world, and um, we cannot, um, I think, foresee all the new um, risks, uh, uh, nor all the new opportunities that are ahead of us. So and and I think that the uh, internet changed uh, the last 20 years, changed the way how we deal with information, and I think that electric vehicles will do similar uh, revolution and disruptive uh, technology to change how we deal with energy and energy transition. And this point that electric vehicles will, or this role electric vehicles will obtain is very important for the future of the mankind. Yeah. From a business side, uh, I want to add uh, two things. Um, and it's about how policy or politicians, I would say, uh, also uh, talk about uh, those new uh, technologies and sometimes are in a different situation because uh, they're in two camps still and they talk uh, as uh, renewable energy but also as electrical cars as a cost and uh, they forget from a business perspective this is not a cost this is an investment and the investment in high is high but the costs are lower and from an yeah. economic ex perspective, that's the important thing you have to do uh, to building an economy. And the other thing is that um, electricity is too cheap and we have to tax it. <laughs> and that's not true. If you look to the energy content of electricity, it's higher taxed than the most polluting fuel on Earth we yeah. know, diesel. It's not... Uh, that electricity is so cheap, it's that the cars are so energy efficient and they use so little energy to drive. But that's the thing you want. Yeah. 
for a healthy economy. And uh, so those are misperceptions, and you hear them daily. The other is yeah. uh, uh, cars driving on coal uh, fired uh, utility, electricities are more polluting than, than the current situation. There is no scientific proof for that. Yep. Not at all. It's even better yeah. already. Yeah, that's true. I, I think one of the things, w w one of the most important things to realize is that we are talking about a change that is a lot more fundamental, as you are saying, than, you know, it's just, it's not about just replacing the cars that we have now with electric vehicles. Uh, that would be easy. You know, we have it's had new part. generations of cars, you know, all the time. Yeah, and new feature. And, and <laughs> but this is a much more fundamental uh, change. This is really a revolution in which uh, transport, electricity and uh, IT and telecommunication systems will become interdependent uh, and, and uh, merging to an extent that we have not seen before. Exactly. Um, at the same time, uh, there are a lot of new questions. We already mentioned cybersecurity, but there is also the question about um, um, about you know what 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 materials do we use in these fantastic new cars? Uh, rare earth Available. elements. Uh, how are we going to organize uh, the 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 uh, collection and reuse yeah. and recycling mm -hmm. of all these very mm -hmm. precious components? Yeah. Uh, because example, uh, uh, if if we don't think about this now, then um, the revolution uh, um, you know of electric mobility will come to an end before we know yeah. it. Uh, yeah. At least before we hoped it would be. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we. <laughs> And that uh, again entails a lot of technology and business challenges too. You know, this is these are f wonderful examples. You know, of 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 societal challenges where technology, policy, and business have to meet, have to work together yeah. seamlessly. So we are at a tipping point in uh, mobility. We are going to have a big revolution in mobility, and electric vehicles will play a key role there technology, policy and business are the three actors which will ensure that this revolution happens. And uh, the, the three mantra words that will help this will be electrification, automation and sustainability. Thank you very much for all your valuable inputs for this discussion. Uh, I look forward to the course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.